Hello, welcome to Clarity Design. Today we are looking at glow effects and light effects. So uh, very simple stuff that we can play around with, maybe add a little bit of flair to some of the models we've made. Um, they're quite cheap effects, but let's have a go and see what we like about them. Um, what I've got here is a sphere set up with a yellow Lambert texture on it. It's a nice, simple sphere. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is go down until I can find uh, something called the Special Effects tab. I'm going to extend that and we can uh, switch on a glow source here. So I can switch on. Let's just leave it off for a second and render an image so you can see it. There he goes. Okay, so the next time I'm going to render this, I'll just do part of the image, like so. Okay, so I can increase the glow here, and let's re-render it. As soon as you increase the glow, it starts to um, it starts to apply a glow to the material, and we can even switch off the source and re-render it again. <clears throat> Gives us another look almost like the glow is happening from nowhere now. Um, as I said, this is quite a, a cheap effect. We can just move this into the scene so you can see what I mean by that. So that this is going to block some of the view. You'd expect the glow to come out from behind this, but have a look at what happens. The glow should actually go here. Yeah, it's going through the object as if the object isn't there. So uh, glowing effects, pretty good, except if you're trying to hide stuff behind walls. It's not really going to work for you. Um, so let's have a look at the other side. I'm just going to delete these objects now and have a look at some of the uh, lights. Okay, so uh, to make a light glow, we take a light in the scene and we're going to apply a special effect to it. Now, not all lights have the ability to apply these special effects. If you don't see it in the uh, list on the attribute editor, then you won't be able to add it. So ambient light is a very simple light, doesn't have it. Area light, ah, this one's more complex, it's got light effects. Let's go down to a point light. Point lights have got it as well, and you can see that's expanded. So we'll use this one. Uh, the reason we're using this one, we could use a spotlight, but um, using a spotlight means you have to make sure it's pointing towards the camera, otherwise you won't get the light glow. So uh, click on light glow, click on the map button, and inside there you can see it automatically switches on uh, this effect. So you can see it's now, uh, there's lots of different options you can have here in terms of how, how you make it look. You can even switch on a lens flare, and if you go down here, you can change how that lens flare looks, um, the intensity of it, etc. Now, um, all that's brilliant, and if you render it out, um, it should look like this. Lovely, so you can see that's a little bit greater than I was expecting, so uh, we can pull this back a lot, we could change the size down, we can put the glow type to a different glow type, uh, and we can really keep playing around with it until we're happy. Um, so we can just keep generating options. Um, and this is going to be useful in uh, all kinds of situations, headlights coming towards the camera, uh, anything along those lines where you want a kind of really cool, fun um, uh, glow effect on your lights. Okay, so we won't go into details about how to use lights properly, but um, there's quite a fun effect that you can add if you wish. Yeah.